The FTSE 100 rose almost 2% on today's open but failed to make up ground after yesterday's Black Monday rout that wiped £125 billion off London's blue chip stocks. European stocks also inched back up after yesterday's panicked sell off, fueled by a collapse in oil prices and a fresh spread in coronavirus cases across Europe. Read more. Global stocks plunge amid oil crash and coronavirus outbreak Global stocks also suffered their worst day of trading since the 2008 financial crisis, as a massive sell-off of Wall Street stocks triggered an automatic 15-minute break in selling. But today an element of calm appeared to return to markets, as oil prices recovered 5% after yesterday's 30% drop. Brent crude stood at $36.14 at 8 colon 30 am. European stocks mixed amid coronavirus crisis the FTSE 100 climbed 90 points, or 1.5%, to break the 6,000-point mark after plunging close to a four-year low yesterday. France's CAC stock exchange posted a similar 1.4% climb, though Germany's DAX was stuck around 0.74%. The continent-wide stocks 600 only rose 1.2% after plummeting 7.4% yesterday. However, BP and Shell, which recorded their worst day ever on the stock market yesterday, only posted minor climbs. BP rose 2.3% in early trading to 325.5p, while Shell rose 4.2% to 1,373.6p. But Asian stocks also eked out an increase overnight. Japan's Nikkei climbed 0.85% while Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index posted a 1.4% gain. Read more. How many coronavirus cases does your London borough have? More volatility to come for FTSE 100 still. Analysts warned more volatility could be yet to come. Quarantines, goods shortages even civil disorder need to be priced in, London Capital Group head of research Jasper Lawler said. We think we are probably not there yet. The FTSE 100's rise came despite Italy's drastic decision to extend its quarantine of 16 million people to the entire population yesterday. Travel restrictions and school closures are now affecting the entire economy. Italy now counts 9,172 coronavirus infections and a death toll of 463. Could UK slash interest rates? But traders bought back into the FTSE 100 with the Bank of England under pressure to cut rates to ward off a recession. The bank may be forced to slash rates close to zero, with investors pinning hopes on a 0.5 percentage point cut within weeks in response to the threat of a global recession. Read more. George Osborne's former advisor Rupert Harrison. Extra spending in budget is welcome that would leave UK interest rates at 0.25%, a dramatic low dot but with the US Federal Reserve set to slash rates by 0.75 percentage points, after a 0.5 percentage point cut already in response to coronavirus, Lawler questioned whether central banks have the tools to prop up their economies. Markets have gotten used to being saved by central banks, and the know for more on this story, visit the news article link.